Director of the Week this week is Melissa Campbell for something she actually accomplished just before Christmas, and that was qualifying for the regionals in four different events in women's swimming. We're catching her just before her senior night meet here against Cedar Ridge, and what was going on just before uh, I turned on the camera here? It looks like you had a senior night ceremony, right? Yeah, I did. It's really nice having everybody out tonight. I got to get a, a nice towel, <laughs> and we enjoyed a slideshow, and I got um, a a uh, rose from uh, the school. It's really nice. Yeah. What type of uh, towel did you get? What was what this, what, how was it decorated? Uh, it had uh, the class 2022 on it and the orange high logo. Okay. So that's a nice yeah. memento for all yeah, the time. Yeah. So you told me that you come here to the Orange County Sportsplex. How often? Um, I come twice a day, most days, to practice. I do uh, my high school practice in the morning and my year-round club team practice in the afternoon. Okay. What's your club team? Um, Hillsboro Aquatic Club. Okay, so you've been with them and for quite some time. When did you get started swimming? I actually started swimming when I was around five years old. Uh, well, I started summer league swimming when I was like four, but I, I joined Hillsboro Aquatic Club when I was five. Okay, so you've been coming here since for a good 12, yeah. 13 years mm -hmm. now, right? So this is kind of like a home away from home, basically. Mm -hmm. You get It becomes a part of you almost, this place. Is that fair to say? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, um... What do you, I guess that's one of the things you're proud of is qualifying for regionals and what are your goals now as you move forward? Um, it would be nice to be able to make states this year. Um, I've made it in years past, but last year we, I didn't get to qualify because the restrictions because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So it'd be really nice to have the chance to make states again this yeah. year. Yeah. And that year, I think you made it, it was over in Cary, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, yeah. So you know, that's a big, can you describe for people what that day is like? That's just a huge day all the way around. Yeah, it's crazy. We get there normally around, I think, probably 7, 15, 7, 30, and we wait in this long line <laughs> waiting to get into the building, and we get inside, and we get seats and everything, and then we get, and then after a while, we get in to warm up, which is crazy because there's, like, teams from all over the state in, in the pool, mm -hmm. so it's, like, really crowded, and it's pretty amazing just to be able to, uh, like, experience it, like, to see everybody coming together, like, all these places to compete. Um, like... I mean, like it's really cool. There's like a lot of hype mm -hmm. in the in the building because there's so many like people here, and it's like yeah. you had to qualify for it, so it's just a cool experience. And it's a big crowd too, yeah, yeah. so it feels like a mini Olympics in mm -hmm. a way with the crowd roaring on as those races, whatever it may be, wind to a close. Mm -hmm. So uh, imagine that ups the intensity. Yeah. Uh, what else do you do outside of uh, swimming and lunch? Um, I I do a lot of. Uh, well, actually, swimming takes over a lot of yeah. uh, my time, but I I have like hobbies. I I'm trying to teach myself how to play guitar and piano. Oh, cool. So okay. yeah. Okay. Well, Hunter Birch might be available for lessons because <laughs> yeah. he taught you and he uh, he taught himself actually, yeah. and uh, he played the national anthem recently at mm -hmm. an orange basketball game too. So maybe he's available or something. Well, thank you very much for joining us here today. Congratulations on this award. Good luck to you. Thank you.